This is India, cradle of mysticism, religion, and civilization, where for untold centuries, the destiny of man has been determined by a religious system which classifies and regulates the birth, life, and death of almost a fourth of the world's population. Centuries ago, there lived here two wise and powerful emperors, Akbar the Great and his son Shah Jahan, and they probably achieved more for the development and perpetuation of Mughal architecture than any other rulers. Among the architectural wonders which they created are the so-called Fort at Agra and the world-famous Taj Mahal. As we gaze upon these immortal landmarks, we may at first be inclined to think that they represent the glamour and romance of an era that no longer exists in India. But if we will divert our attention from the past and travel a few hours' journey to the native state of Baroda, we will find at the palace of His Highness, the Maharaja of Baroda, a modern display of oriental lavishness and splendor that we doubt could have been excelled by the extravagant nabobs of the past. For here, old India is still on parade. Three million subjects pay homage to the sovereign prince of this palace, who is rated among the wealthiest men on earth, his collection of jewels alone being valued at 30 million rupees. that more wealth has ever been concentrated in a parade like this one. Royal elephants wearing trappings studded with precious jewels. A small but well-equipped army of specially trained men. And sacred oxen with blankets of shimmering gold. Gold-plated kazan with cannon of silver and gold. Emblems of power and wealth which are said to be essential to a sovereign prince in India if he wishes to hold the respect and esteem of his people. Raja's favorite animals are the royal elephants, a special breed, trained with utmost care and attention. Indian elephants occasionally grow to be as high as 15 feet, with a maximum weight of 9 to 10 tons. Most of them are caught wild and tamed as they do not breed readily in captivity. Their period of gestation is about 20 months and few of them live to be over 60 years of age. And here is Rip Kali, the Maharaja's famous trick elephant. The art of painting elephants with watercolors is an exalted profession requiring most unusual imagination and skill. Rip Colley, for example, has the head of a panther painted around his eye in a manner which cleverly illustrates the smallness of an elephant's eye in proportion to his huge body. Rip 
Collie's many accomplishments, the one that he seems to enjoy the most is smoking a typical oriental pipe. And now we'll give Rip Collie a well-deserved rest and devote a brief moment to the Maharaja's monkeys. It is said that the attachment of the mother monkey to her young has no parallel in the whole animal kingdom, for only the death of the mother can possibly separate her from her baby. She brings into existence only one baby at a time, and like human babies, it is in a condition of utter helplessness for almost a year. And now that we have had a fleeting impression of the exotic lavishness that still exists in modern India, let us return again to the past and feast our imagination on the story of the immortal Taj Mahal, the so-called Temple of Love, which was built by the Emperor Shah Jahan as a memorial to his beautiful young wife, Mumtazi Mahal, whose body now lies beneath its marble dome. The story is told that after the death of the lovely Mumtazi Mahal, her husband was so overcome with grief that he was about to take his own life when the inspiration came to him to build upon the soil of India the most beautiful temple in the world, a Taj Mahal, to commemorate one of the most ardent and noble love affairs in the annals of romance. The building of this immortal temple was begun over three centuries ago, and it required 20 years to complete it at a cost of over three million pounds. Perhaps the most remarkable feature of the Taj Mahal is its atmosphere of newness. For almost 300 years it has stood as we see it here, yet it appears untouched by time, symbolizing, as it were, the eternal spirit of love which was its inspiration, the love of a man for a woman. And even now, under the magic spell of romance, we may hear the voice of the maiden who lies within its marble shroud, plaintively calling for the spirit of her loved one, Shah Jahan. Before you I go no 